This Mayor Patrick Brown there. Another official to make an announcement about speed enforcement zones. in the city. Um, Let's listen live. On notice that this will be the worst city in Canada to speed. That if you're going to speed, if you're going to drive recklessly in our community, it's going to be very expensive. We're going to hit you where it hurts in your pocketbook. And so today's announcement marks a milestone in this goal of our council uh, to make Brampton a safe community uh, for those on our roads. Uh, the opening of our automated speed, speed enforcement process, processing center underscores our unwavering commitment to making our streets safe. And just to give you the scale of this, uh, by the end of September, we're going to have 110 cameras operational in the city of Brampton in front of schools and parks. Under the provincial legislation, we're allowed to put cameras, speed cameras, um, in areas that are considered community safety zones. And schools and parks qualify for that. By the end of this academic year, we're going to have 185 cameras. This will be the fastest and largest deployment um, in the country. And so with this deployment, we can safely say uh, that uh, there is no city that is taking speeding and reckless driving as seriously as the city of Brampton. And we need to. You know, there is a, a, a lethal consequence to speeding and reckless driving. You know, these cameras are just being installed now. And to show you um, how important the cameras are, uh, I was asking about recent um, uh, speed that we've been able to catch. And I was told just last month, one of the cameras we installed caught someone going um, 176 kilometers in a 50 zone. That's 126 kilometers over the limit, thinking they would not get caught. Obviously, the reach of police resources is limited. You know, they're so busy. The PRP is so busy, like most police forces. You don't traditionally see um, speed enforcement uh, uh, work from, from police. And so technology gives us the ability uh, to make up for that. And um, uh, obviously, that driver is going to face some very significant consequences now. Why this investment was so important is when we started this venture in 2019, um, we were one of the first municipalities to embrace the city, the city of Toronto and Brampton, were some, some of the first municipalities to embrace uh, using these automated speed devices. There was only, at the time, there was only one processing centre in Ontario, that was the city of Toronto. And to become a processing centre, there are some rigorous um, requirements. It has to be approved by the Ministry of the Attorney General. You need the officers to be designated by the Minister of Transport. You have to have uh, a specific area that is um, that is assigned, that has to be separate, that has to be assigned to this processing of, of tickets. And so we had to overcome some hurdles. But the reason it was so important is that uh, Toronto had no capacity left. So the cameras that we set up initially could only work two hours a day. And I don't want to take speeding seriously two hours a day. I want to take speeding seriously 24 hours a day. Worse, we couldn't even add any new cameras. And I don't want to leave schools in our city um, unattended to. I want to make sure that every family in our city can feel safe sending their kids to school knowing that we uh, take speeding very seriously. And just to put you into context how much this works, where we put cameras, and even when the cameras were only working two hours a day, um, where the cameras went, we saw a close to 20 kilometer reduction in speeding. Um, you put signs up saying, please slow down, the research shows doesn't work. Um, what really affects people is their pocketbooks. And I know people who will say, I don't, I don't like photo radar, I don't like speeding. Well, don't be an idiot and speed in front of a school where there's children, and you won't get a big fat ticket. But if you're going to be an idiot and speed in front of kids, you are going to get a big fat ticket, and we're going to hit you where it hurts most, and that's your pocketbook. The research is unequivocal. Sick Kids Hospital has shown that the effect of lowering speeds um, results in a 67% decrease in fatalities and major injuries. Um, obviously, we need to protect these zones where we have children in our community. So I'm really excited about this, this rollout. I want to thank the team that's been behind it, our Commissioner of Legislative Services, Laura, um, to those, uh, the Senior Project Manager on this, uh, Michael uh, Kralt, uh, thank you for your hard work. I'm told the timelines that we set were the 
fastest deployment by um, the, the company that is doing this um, in Europe and, and in Canada. So we're really exciting, excited that we managed to have very ambitious uh, timelines. So um, this is something that our council took very seriously. Uh, we want there to be no tolerance zero tolerance when it comes to to speeding so starting uh, this week uh, this processing center is now open um, and this is a new chapter in brampton where we now become a city uh, that uh, takes speeding more seriously than anywhere else in canada so if uh, for those who think that it's the same old same old approach where they can be reckless drivers in our community i have uh, some news for you that's no longer the case in brampton um, and welcome to our new brampton where there is zero tolerance for speeding. Uh, thank you so much for uh, coming to this announcement as we open this new processing center. I would note the city had to purchase this facility. Um, it was uh, the old uh, hydro, uh, the old, old Electra building, and it's because we had to have a designated facility to meet the provincial requirements. So um, welcome here today for this milestone announcement uh, and looking forward to hearing the results from our legislative commissioner of how we've changed speeding as these cameras become operational. Once again, 110 cameras operational by then of September. And All right, they are getting serious about speeding in Brampton. Uh, Mayor Patrick Brown saying, you know, if you're going to drive like an idiot, that's the mm -hmm. term he used, you are going to pay and pay. They say going after the pocketbooks is the way to crack down on speeding. So that's the plan. Lots of uh, photo radar coming to Brampton. He's saying he wants to make it the most expensive city in Canada to speed in.